It's the new Burr Live show with a visit tonight from the man who leads the band of the year, Eddie Howard. Now here comes America's mightiest ballad singer of record, screen, and radio, Bilko's friendly troubadour, Burr Live. <laughs> Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. My master's gone away. Hi there, friends. This is Burr Lives. You know, on our way down here tonight, Dick Davis and the quartet, Perry Bodkin and I were asking, what are we going to open the show with? From out of the valley, there came the sound of a lonesome train whistle. And we said, ah, that's it. We're going to open the show with a railroad song, a song about a brave engineer. Come all your rounders if you want to hear a story about a brave engineer. Casey Jones was the rounder's name On a six-eight wheeler, boys, he won his fame The caller called Casey at a half past four He kissed his wife at the station door He mounted to the cabin with these orders in his hand Took his farewell trip to the promised land Casey Jones mounted to the cabin Casey Jones with his orders in his hand Casey Jones mounted to the cabin Now Casey pulled up the Reno Hill He tooted for the crossing with an awful shrill The switchman knew by the engine's moan That the man at the throttle was a Casey Jones Pulled up within two miles of the place Number four stared her right in the face He turned to the fireman, said, boy, you better jump Cause two locomotives are a going to pump Casey Jones, two locomotives Casey Jones, and a going to pump Casey Jones, two locomotives, two locomotives and a going to pump. Now Casey said, just before he died, there's two more roads I'd like to ride. The fireman said, what might they be? It's the Southern Pacific and the Santa Fe. Mrs. Jones sat on a bed of crying, just received a message that her Casey man was dying. So go to bed, children. And hush your crying, cause you got another papa on the Salt Lake line. Casey Jones, got another papa. Casey Jones, on the Salt Lake line. Casey Jones, got another papa. Casey Jones, got another papa on the Salt Lake You know, a train is a mighty powerful thing, but it can be stopped. Got a little song about that. I bought a goat, his name was Jim. I bought him for his precious skin. That goat got loose about half past nine and ate a red shirt right off the line. I grabbed that goat by the wool of the back and I tied him to a railroad track he bucked and bawled with might and main coughed up that shirt and flagged the train <laughs> the other day a railroad man was telling me that the longest train he ever rode was a freight engine pulling 104 cars The longest train That e'er I saw Was on the Georgia line The engine passed At half past four And the caboose It passed at nine Little girl, little girl don't tell me no lies Where did you sleep last night? I slept in the pines 
where the sun never shines and I shivered when the cold wind blows the best of friends someday must part so why not you and I for the long steel rails and the short cross ties I'm a wilding my way back home Friends, our guest tonight is the young man who leads the band of the year. Plus that, he sings a mighty fine song. The star of the Schaefer Parade, Eddie Howard. Eddie, you know, it's getting so that there isn't a place that I go that I don't hear one of your records. Well, gee, I'm sorry, Burl. Don't be sorry, Eddie. I only go where they have Philco's. What are you going to sing for us? <laughs> well, it's a little song that did quite well for us last season. It's called For Sentimental Reasons. That's reason enough for me, boy. Sing it. I love you For sentimental reasons I hope you do believe me I'll give you my heart I love you And you alone were meant for me Please give your loving hearts to me And say we'll never part I think of you every morning And I dream of you every night Darling, I'm never lonely Whenever you're inside I love you Sentimental reasons I hope you do believe me I've given you my Eddie, my boy, that was fine. Well, thanks, Burl. And, Burl, uh, I brought another song with me tonight I thought maybe you'd be interested in. Oh, I can always use another song. What is it, Eddie? Well, it's uh, one we recorded not long ago. It's one of the finest folk songs I've ever heard. It's hmm. uh, really terrific. It's got most everything. You make my mouth water, boy. What's the song? Is it right for me? Right for you, Burl. This song will fit you like money fits Jack Benny. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't get closer than that. What's the song? Well, uh... It's a little tricky. Now, I don't know whether you go for it or not. It might take some time to work it out. Oh, Eddie, I've got nothing but time. Go, go ahead and sing it. Well, it goes like this. Jimmy Crack Cone and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Cone and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Cone and I don't care. My master's gone away. Burl is becoming one of our biggest records. Eddie, you're a gentleman and a scoundrel. <laughs> I've been singing that song ever since I was knee-high to Yankee Doodle. You have? Well, I guess that lets me out on return to this program. Oh, no, you, you've got to come back. But I'm going to punish you. Yes, sir, my boy, I'm going to punish you. Well, uh, what are you going to do to me, Burl? Well, I am going to sing one of your songs. Now, you just uh, stand back there in the corner and uh, take this like a man. Okay, Dick Boyce, come on and help me out. The girl that I marry will have to be a soft and as pink as a nursery the girl I call my own will wear satins and laces and smell of cologne her nails will be polished 
and in her hair she'll wear a gardenia and i'll be there still a flitting i'll be sitting next to her and she'll purr like a kitten a doll i can carry the girl that i marry must be well well that was beautiful who needs frankie lane anyway <laughs> Say, Burl, I hear this new Thorka radio phonograph combination has a new easy way to play records. Easy? Why, Eddie, playing records on the new Philco radio phonograph is as easy as uh, eating a midnight snack of lemon meringue pie or sitting on a goose feather bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how's that selectivity? The selectivity, Eddie. Well, I'll tell you what kind of selectivity this new Philco radio phonograph has. The other night, I was listening to a program where Bing Crosby and Jimmy Durante were singing a duet. Well, this Philco is so selective that I tuned Durante right out and just listened to Bing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds great, Burl. You know, you caught me singing one of your songs, and I heard you sing one of my songs. Why don't we compromise and let you and me sing one of your songs? Okay, what'll it be? Well, it's a starts out something like this. I'm a going down the road feeling bad. I'll go with you, boy. I'm going down the road feeling bad. I'm, I'm a going, going down the road feeling bad. I ain't, ain't gonna, gonna be treated this, this way. way. Oh, two dollar shoes hurt my feet, Eddie. Yes, two dollar shoes hurt my feet. Oh, make them touch it. Two dollar shoes hurt my feet. I ain't gonna be treated this way. It takes a ten dollar shoe to fit my feet, boy. It takes a ten dollar shoe to fit my feet. Got expensive notions. Ten dollar shoe to fit my feet. I ain't gonna be treated this way. I'm a going where the water tastes like wine. Now you're talking, Mister, going where the water tastes like wine. A going where the water tastes like turpentine. Like turpentine. I ain't gonna be treated this way. <laughs> Say, <laughs> say, Eddie, I forgot another thing about this uh, new Philco. Uh, it lets you hear the commercials. Are you kidding? Yeah, here, I'll show you how it works. Eddie, Band of the Year, Howard, I'm sure the folks join me in thanking you for being on the show. Oh, Mr. Rise, oh, Mr. Rise, I'll shout it from the rooftops far and near. They like the songs you sing, you sing most anything. I'm here to vote you Guitar of the Year. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Howard, oh, Mr. Howard, take my hat and throw it in the ring. But for goodness sakes alive, please don't make me sing that jive. So long, Mr. Howard. Goodbye, Mr. Rives. Good evening, Phil Safer Parade on Sunday. So long, friends. I'll be seeing you. I'm just a wayfaring stranger. This is Bill Haworth reminding you to listen next week at this time for Philco's friendly troubadour, Burl Ives, whose weekly visit is produced and transcribed in Hollywood for your listening pleasure. Burl's guests will be the Novelty Aces with Abigail and Buddy. And come into our store and listen to the new 1948 Philco radios and radio phonographs. I'm just a boy.